Hi Libra, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, how to tip or donate. There's also a wish list down there if you would choose to do that. Uh, personal reading information is below. Dex, I'm using tons of stuff there. Please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Uh, well, uh, I did say welcome, but um, thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you have order, ordered a personal reading, thank you so much. And to those who have tipped or donated to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you. All your support really means a lot to me and really helps the channel's growth. So thank you so much for being a part of that. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I love to do this. So thank you, thank you so much for all the support. Okay, Libra, let's see what's going on for you for the month of November. This is a... Um, general tar uh, tarot forecast but i mean we may get love we may get uh something going on with your family your friends work career money i mean it could be anything so we're just going to take whatever comes out here let's see what we get so i hope everybody's doing well happy november happy fall all right libra what's going on with libra for november this is a, a zodiac oracle we could get a sign element or planet if you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. Um, if you click down the title, there's probably something in here for you. Only take what resonates, or throw away the rest. It's a general collective reading, not a personal reading. It could end up being about somebody around you if it's not about you also, or something like that. So keep that in mind. I can pick up on past, present, future energy. All right, so let's see. What is going on with Libra? For November spirit, please. Can we have one card? Oh, that's two for Libra for November, please. Thank you so much. Yep. Well, we got Aquarius and Jupiter there. So I usually only take one. So let's see which one does spirit want me to take and I think it's this one Jupiter and that's the one I felt like I should have taken to begin with so Jupiter is Sagittarius energy but it doesn't have to be so you could have a Sagittarius around you some way shape or form or maybe you have it in your chart or something like that but Jupiter is all about um, luck expansion faith optimism spirituality joy prosperity so it's all positive energy. So maybe things are going in a better direction for you in the month of November. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra, for the month of November. I'm going to get an opening message, and then I'll get an energy card, and then bottom of the deck, and then we'll clarify with the tarot, and then extra messages uh, at the end with that deck over there. All right, so what is the opening message for Libra for, and I think that's your card, for November? And we have six of Michael. So this is air energy, this is your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans, relocation or travel. But this is the Six of uh, Swords. So this is about going in a better direction, moving in a better direction to peace, harmony, balance, healing, leaving the past behind, things that were no longer serving you, and moving forward in a better direction. And I had felt that things, and I had said things going in a better direction for you in the month of November, and that's Spirit confirming that. So it looks like things will be going in a better direction for you in the month of November. So let's see, let's get your energy. Let's get one for your energy for the month of November. Wow, it's too many. We'll, we'll take that one. So we have the Knight of Ariel. Trustworthy, understanding, devoted, funny. There is so much to accomplish. Make, make, ev make a very detailed plan being watched over by someone kind. So this is the Knight of Pentacles. So Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. So this is moving forward again, moving forward, taking that action, 
No, it's slow, steady type of movement, but it's secure, it's grounded and stable. So moving forward with a lot of, you know, thought, precision, uh, stability, being very practical sort of energy and going in a better direction. So things, you know, going in a better direction for you. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have here 14 solutions, Archangel Zachiel. And this is the temperance card, which is Sagittarius, which rules Jupiter. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. So this is uh, balance, it's patience, it's forgiveness, it's uh, healing energy. So yeah, again, being very balanced and moving forward. Very balanced and being stable and grounded and practical and going in a better direction. And things looking better for you, Libra, in the month of November. So if you've been going through something, things haven't been so good for you lately, I see November is looking up for you so far. It could be about work, family, uh, relationship, or all of the above. Friends, you know, if there's been um, outing with friends, you know, maybe if you've been on the outs with friends or family or work hasn't been going too good or your relationship, everything looks like it's going in a better direction in November. And, you know, the Knight of Ariel is making that positive practical, smart, wise, stable movement forward. And your cards are just like jumping out at me here. <laughs> Let's get one more shuffle. All right. So let's clarify the Knight of Ariel. Moving forward with a lot of stability, practicality, really thinking about things, taking, you know, a slow approach, slow, steady approach. The King of Fire. So, and there's Leo uh, Sag Aries. So, I mean, you could have, maybe you just have fire in your chart also. Uh, Leo Sag Aries. Or a friend or co-worker or someone around you who could be a fire sign, particularly a Sag. Because we got Sag twice there. And again here, but this can be Leo Sag Aries. So this is a lot of uh, passion, drive, ambition, go-getter type of energy. Um know this king of fire goes after what they want it can be king or queen they go after what they want a lot of drive ambition ambition they're successful uh they could be a business owner a boss or something like that and uh entrepreneur kind of energy sometimes uh, they have good ideas creative so yeah you're, you're very passionate about this but yet you're taking a slow practical smart slow steady approach to it also and everything is going in a better direction so i mean the king of fire king or queen doesn't matter um all right so well, i'd like to ask before i take any so let's get a couple more let's get a couple more here for this energy let's get a couple more for libra the nine of water <laughs> Wishes and dreams coming true. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be. Just happiness and joy. Wishes and dreams coming true. And the star. So healing energy. Aquarian energy here. Major here. Uh, faith, hope, optimism. Something divinely guided for you. Um, spirituality, faith. Patience, healing energy. So you got two cards here of wishes and dreams coming true. So <laughs> something's going to be coming true for you in the month of November. I see a lot of healing. I see a lot of peace, happiness, joy, which is something being fulfilled. Um, something divinely guided for you. Because you see the star here around his like head. It almost looks like the sun energy too. And then this kind of, same kind of energy here also. Hmm. All right, so let's get a few more clarifiers now for this. So now we have the Four of Fire, Leo Sag Aries again. And this is stability in your home life. It could be about um, ceremony, celebrations, uh, commitment, marriage, very stable, grounded um, home life of some kind. 
whether if you're single, then your home life is going to become very stable in the month of November. Or you could be attending celebrations, ceremonies, weddings. Maybe some of you are getting married next month. All right, so let's get one more. The Emperor. So Emperor, Empress doesn't matter, but this is Aries energy. So this is being in control, in charge, you know, uh, being in control of your own fate and destiny. Um, entrepreneur energy, being your own boss, owning your own business or something like that. This is can be divine masculine energy also. So I feel like yeah, it's like you're going to be the ruler of your own domain in the month of November, whether you're starting uh, a new business or you're start maybe you know you want to be a star or something and maybe now you're starting to live out that dream or something like that. So let's get your actual situation. Or you could just be taking charge of your life now, moving forward in a better direction. Being smart, practical, slow and steady, but having that fire and drive ambition in you to succeed. And I think you will here. You'll be very stable and grounded. Wishes, dreams coming true. Some sort of solution here too also will bring all this in for you. So let's see now. So we have the page of fire. So this can be a new creative idea. It can be an offer coming in. It can be good news. Getting good news about something that brings you your wish fulfillment. It's what you're, you know, fire is all about that passion, ambition, desire. So I feel like whatever you're desiring, you're getting here. The message is coming in for you. And we have a tower flipped over in reverse. So, you know, the tower upright is Aries again. So talks about, you know, uh, a breakthrough, something coming down, crumbling down. It can be an aha moment. It can be a surprise. Um, something crumbling down here, but came out in reverse. So I don't know. Let's get one more. Oh, okay. So now we have the hangman. So being in pause in limbo, Cancer uh, Pisces. Uh, being in limbo, thinking about things here. Um, you know, looking at the situation from all angles. Really just like going with the flow, thinking, contemplating. Not taking any action. Just kind of being still while you think about things. get a couple more clarifiers here. Why is the tower here in reverse? Why is the tower here in reverse? The sun. So <laughs> Leo energy doesn't have to be the happiness, joy, fulfillment, enlightenment, healing energy, um, growth, expansion, happy home and family. And that's right under the four of fire. So definitely a very happy and stable home life for you um, in the month of November. So let's get one more. Five of water. So this can talk about loss, loneliness, sadness. So maybe um, you're a little reluctant to, maybe there's something you're a little bit reluctant to end because this tower's in reverse, so that's about something crumbling down and rebuilding. So maybe you're a little hesitant about letting everything crumble down so that you can rebuild this new uh, place that you're going to. Because, you know, whatever you have to leave behind here, you know you're going to be a little sad, lonely. Um, you're going to feel the loss, you know, with the five of water there. It may be very emotional. Maybe something you're avoiding Maybe, you know, this is bringing in something new. Maybe it could be, you know, a new career or something like that. Whatever you're going going through or going to do. And, you know, you need to end something. Let something crumble down. Um, and you're kind of hesitant to do that with the hangman. Because it's going to be a very emotional uh, experience. 
I mean, you could have worked at a job or something for up to 12, 12 or, you know, 10 to 20 years for some of you. And now it's like you're leaving that all behind to go in a totally different direction. And it's like family to you now. You know, it's like family. And you're avoiding the crumbling down in the ending of that because it's going to be very, very emotional. So it's like you're kind of putting it off with the hanging man. All right, so let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. Libra. That's too many. I just want a couple. Your advice for Libra. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. So it says Sagittarius energy again. So some of you could have a Sag around you in some way, shape, or form, or you just have it in your chart, heavily in your chart. And the Empress. So wow, we have the Emperor and the Empress. Divine masculine, divine feminine counterparts. So maybe some of you are getting married. Maybe some of you are getting married. Maybe there's a fear of leaving your single life behind. I don't know. And venturing off out into married life. I, I don't know. It could be anything here. Um, but this is fate, destiny here with the Wheel of Fortune. Better luck and timing. Everything going in the right direction. Things going in your favor. So things are definitely going in a better direction. Going in a be better direction. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're going to, it's fate, it's destiny, it's meant for you with the Wheel of Fortune energy. And now you have the Empress too. So some of you could, Emperor, Empress. So maybe you're even, could be even going into business with your um, partner. Starting a new business with your partner. Maybe there's fear of that venturing into that also so i'm getting different messages so you know take what resonates um but you know this is um knowing your value your worth you know you being mother of the deck embodying all the elements of all the queens growth expansion this is the birth of something new um this is libra and taurus energy so that's your energy so birth, yeah, birth of something new that's meant for you, something meant for you. Giving You're giving birth to something new that is meant for you, and it's coming just at the right time, just in the divine time, to get you in a better space starting in November. I feel like some of you have been through a hard time with the Five of Water there, a very emotional hard time in the past few months, in the past, maybe over the summer, and now it's like you're starting to go into a better place. All right, so let's get a couple more for your advice here. So just know, you know, stand in your power, your empress power, and give birth to whatever this new thing is you're going for because it's divinely guided here for you, something that's meant to be. So that's your advice. So I know we have 10 and 3, and that, and these are both majors here. 10 and 3 is 13, which equals 4 again, which is about stability. So the basis and foundation of something so you're you're giving birth to something new that will lay the foundation for you to be very stable moving forward yet you're in a very uh slow steady practical wise uh movement forward approach <laughs> in this all right so let's get a couple more so now we have the king of water uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces doesn't have to be so. So this, you know, it's about love, emotions, uh, happiness, peace, joy, compassion, energy. So I think you're just going to be in a much better energy because especially with the sun there, with the king of water, king or queen, doesn't matter. Being, you know, totally happy and joyous with the sun and being in a more loving, compassionate, compassionate, peaceful place within you and your home your family and those around you all right so let's get one more the nine of earth so yeah being very stable and grounded you know making your money uh being abundant having everything you need standing on your own two feet being very independent so some of you could be single if you're not with a partner I mean, some of you it could be have a fear of giving up your independence and getting married because I do have the emperor and the empress and the four of wands. It can be about marriage or ceremonies. So 
Maybe some of you are getting married and you have fear of ending your independence and moving into married life. For some of you, it's birthing something new, whether it's your own business or something like that. Some of you are just single and going in alone into a new venture of some kind and being very, uh, I see, very successful with the Nine of Earth. All right, let's get your possible outcome. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're doing, Libra, whatever your situation is, um, it's meant for you. It's divinely guided for you. It's going to give, be able to give you the birth of something new. You'll have stability, growth, expansion. You'll be in a much better mind space. You know, peace, happiness, joy, healing, wish fulfillment, balance. The Ten of Water. So I just, everything I had just said is right here with the Ten of Water. And then the pre-shuffle before I came on camera, this fell in my lap. So this is happiness, joy, fulfilled in every single way. Yep. Totally fulfilled. Peace, harmony, balance, love, compassion. Being totally, totally fulfilled emotionally and spiritually and lovingly and every way you can imagine just being totally, totally fulfilled. So it's a good energy. Now we have the king of air. So there you are. There's your energy, king or queen. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So that is just confirming here that you will be totally fulfilled in whatever direction that you're going to. Whatever, whatever you're doing here, whatever you're doing here, it's going to lead you to so much abundance and fulfillment. All right, so let's get one more for your possible outcome for Libra for... November, one more for the possible outcome. Oops, seven of earth. So, you know, this is, you know, investing wisely and then having patience and waiting for your uh, investments to blossom. So, you know, this is just telling you to have patience. This is earth, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. But just have patience, give it time. If you don't see... Um, like things going in the direction that you want it to right away. It's just that you have to put the work in and give it time. And patience is with temperance there for everything to start to prosper and grow. So, you know, don't give up. So, yep, yeah, and here's your brand new beginning at the bottom of the deck. Your energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, brand new beginning, truth, clarity, Big epiphany moment, realization, you know, cutting out things no longer serving you for this new beginning. Speaking up for yourself, not taking any BS as you venture out into spreading your wings into this brand new beginning. King of Earth. So we get a lot of kings here. I think we have, <coughs> do we have every king? We have the king of air, the king of water. The king of earth. I don't know. Do we have all the kings here? King of water, king of air, king of earth. Do we have the king of wands? I think we did. Yeah, up here. So we got all the kings here. Wow. So you could be male or female. It doesn't matter. But the emperor and the empress embodies all... The emperor embodies all the kings. The empress embodies all the queens of the deck. So... Definitely embodying every single aspect of all the suits of stability. Stability, um, love and abundance and peace and harmony. Um, compassion, truth, clarity, all of it. And this is your prosperity. This is being abundant and secure and stable. And not having to worry, making your money. And then we have the moon. So it may seem like an illusion right now, like not knowing all the facts, not knowing how this is going to turn out. But the moon is also telling you, Cancer Pisces, listen to your gut, your intuition, and your inner knowing. You know, you don't really need to know all, all the facts right now. But the moon, you know, everything is guided for a reason and things will come to light. Six of fire. So there you go. Success, victory, accomplishment. 
success, victory, accomplishment. You may not see it all now, but you will be stable, grounded, abundant. And you have this brand new beginning here with the Ace of Air. Truth, clarity, big aha moment, realizing, you know, this is the direction I'm meant to go in. This is where I'm meant to be, where I'm meant to go. All right, so let's get some extra messages for you, Libra. Libra, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified of when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a general tarot forecast like this. I do a love connection reading. I do a singles reading, who's coming towards you, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be, sort of a fun reading. And I also do um, messages from your spirit guides, spirit messages, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. Okay, Libra, let's get some extra messages for Libra. Well, what do we have here? So we have justice and here's your energy, Libra. Your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. So. I mean, maybe you're going to work in the justice system. If not, this is just to tell you things will be fair and balanced in the direction that you're going in. And then we have books here. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. So that may mean something to some people, or maybe you just like to read, or you're learning through uh, books or something like that. All right, so maybe some of you, are, you know, becoming a writer or something like that. So what else do we have for Libra? Any other messages for Libra or November? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Oh, we got two more. So we have protected. You are safe and supported while you change your career. So, so yeah, some of you are definitely changing careers here. And this is spirit letting you know that you are protected and they are supporting you. Your ancestors, your passed over loved ones, your spirit and your angel team, your uh, guardian angels, everybody here is protecting you as you go through this change. Energy healing, your natural energy, your natural energy healing abilities are an important part of your life purpose. So maybe some of you are becoming an energy healer of some way, in some way. Maybe you're learning about it by reading books. It may mean something to some people. Or maybe you need to heal your energy. Maybe you need to seek out an energy healer to help heal, uh, whether it's Reiki or chakra healing or something like that, to help heal your energy and um, help balance you out because you do have balance here with... Um, temperance and on the bottom of the deck yeah we have yoga and you see all the chakras here so that's just confirming what i said your life is enhanced by yoga stretching and exercising so uh some of you may need to do that and again with the chakras there aligning your chakras getting that healing chakra clearing uh if you don't know anything about that maybe this is telling you with books read up on it learn about it even going online learning about it um and maybe you need that type of healing Okay, Libra, if this resonated for you, like I said, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.